Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 18, and we're going to talk about how to do this text crawl here. This is actually just the beginning of Orson Welles' famous broadcast, War of the Worlds, but I uh, figured that'd be a fun little intro. So we're going to talk about how to duplicate that. So first off, just go to your media generators, and you're going to grab sample text and click and drag that over, and that starts out pretty normal. Secondly, you're going to want to create the text that is going to scroll. So what I'm going to do is get a little shorter version uh, than what I got. But you can do this with any length of text, like a lot of text. So it doesn't matter if it's a lot of text. I'm going to do something that's just a little bit longer than a line just to illustrate something, and then hit. Uh, so I'm going to. <clears throat> So I grab the first line of the uh, Orson Welles broadcast here, and I am deleting the sample text. I'm copy paste into here where I got this whole line. Now is a good time get it all highlighted. This is a good time to format it, make it the right text size, make it the right font, make it the right whatever you want it to be. Um, give it an outline if you want it to have an outline. Um, so once you get all that set, then it actually gets pretty simple. You go to this location clock here, and then you hit boom, that's animate. Then you can select this first keyframe, and now you're picking what information is going to go in that first keyframe for the location. So we're going to put this all the way at the beginning. Uh, and we're going to drag it slightly off screen. We still want to be able to see the text box. I'm going to grab it slightly off screen there. And then, for my, uh, it's on the very, very edge because my audio for some reason is gone, my audio checker. So, two, uh, next thing we're going to do is go all the way to the end here. And it's going to look like the text is gone. It's just because it's going to be showing the next frame because we're at the very, very end. Uh, actually, just for your sake, we'll do almost the end here. Uh, we're going to create a new keyframe, and then we're going to grab it, and we're going to move it all the way across on the other side. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be this short. This is just so it's easier to show you uh, in the tutorial. Um, and then you scroll all the way to the end. You might have to scroll for a second and sc scroll it just off screen there. Uh, what you can do is click on the first keyframe, and you see how that says 0.10 here at this very last coordinate? That's how low it is on the screen. So if you go on this one, it says 0.8. So it's actually going to be moving like up as it goes. So what we need to do, actually down, I think. So what we're going to do is make sure it also says 0.10 and then hit Enter. And then once you hit enter, if you don't hit enter, it won't change. Once you hit enter, it's the same height on both sides. So now what we can do is actually watch it back. Whoop. Not what I meant to do. We can actually watch it back with this text crawl here. And it'll be a bit choppy because this is actually a bit hard for Vegas to do a lot of. Um, but if you need to see it, Without it being choppy, you can scroll over, right-click, and selectively pre-render your video, and that will clean it up and let you see what you're actually getting. Um, and that pretty much is it. Now, now you're thinking, well, what if I have a lot of text that needs to scroll even longer? Well, that's pretty simple. Just come over here to this duration. Let's say you need it to be 30 seconds. You can type 30 in this middle frame right here because this last one's frames, this is seconds, this is minutes, and this is hours. Uh, so we're going to change that from 10 seconds to 30 seconds. Now you can notice this timeline down here extended. We can also that keyframe didn't move though, so we can grab the keyframe, move it all the way to the end. Now the text, now the text event is 30 seconds long, and the keyframe spans those full 30 seconds. Uh, but it won't have changed down here, so you can actually click and drag until you see this notch. We see the notch, you can see it's about 39 seconds. That's because it's about eight or nine seconds where we were starting here. So if I move this around, you can see right here. If I move this at the beginning right here to 30 second mark, that's where it repeats. So now that's how you can adjust how fast it scrolls. Like I said, to see it perfectly cleanly, you'll need to have it rendered or pre-rendered. Um, and you can repeat it however much you want. So let's say you have minutes or hours of broadcast, you just scroll to the very end. And then it will repeat over and over again. Every time you see a notch, that's repeating. And the next step is what if I'm going to delete this audio track that's weirdly placed. Um, what if you wanted to put this above something above something like this, but you wanted to also be able to see it? Um, 
Sorry, I'm just moving some stuff around just to make it a little cleaner. Okay, so let's say you want a background behind it. So an easy way to do that, if you create another video track by either right-clicking and inserting a video track or hitting Control, Shift, and Q, you can then move the text to the top video track and leave an empty video track in the middle. Then go to your solid text color, grab black or whatever color you want, probably black, and make it the same length as your text. Then there's two steps here. We click on this event pan crop button, which is this uh, cropping looking uh, ruler button in the center. And then when you open that, you'll need to make sure that lock aspect ratio is not highlighted. It is unchecked. That way you can move it in proportionally like so. And you can make a little black bar. Now there's an effect that's really good for moving things around the screen. It's called picture in picture. So uh, we grab picture in picture effect in the video effects tab, drag it to the solid color there, and then we're going to want to change this back to one so it fills the screen again. Maybe a bit bigger than one. You can use the scroll bar if you want just to make it a little easier to to pixel perfect on the screen so you don't have a little pixel gap uh, right here on the edge if you're hand moving it like I was. And then, uh, oh, see here's a problem though. If we go back to the event pan crop you can see it actually creates, it grows to it. Now that's a neat effect, I've used it pl plenty of times, I do not want to do it here. That's because I accidentally created a two second keyframe. So we're going to delete that first keyframe, now there's only one keyframe so there's no movement happening. And then the last step is you can either, in Vegas Pro, you can either grab the text track it's on and uh, change the opacity of the entire track, or you can change the opacity of the entire clip by this little center dot button here. Move it down. And then there you go. Once you get it all lined up how you want, now you have a way to scroll some text. So that's how to do it in Vegas Pro 18. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. This video was suggested to me by a subscriber. There's also a movie studios version if you haven't checked that out. It's really the exact same though. But uh, thank you for watching. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. I will see you next time.